It's me Valerie, it's almost three weeks later and I just wanted to tell you about my thoughts and well, my experience of this concert You know, the VIP experience, how I met Madison, what we've been talking about and things like that I also have my bag and like my VIP stuff in here so that you can see uh, properly Yeah, alright, let's get started Actually, I feel like I've forgotten a lot, which I don't know I literally don't know what I'm gonna be talking about but let's just start with the fact that I still feel like it hasn't happened to me I still feel like it has happened to like another version of me or something of the kind I don't really know how to explain it it's so so strange to just know that it actually has happened to me and that I actually was at the concert like two weeks ago more than two weeks ago it's still unbelievable because it's been my first one I don't count these like Russian it doesn't count it was not really a concert that I was when I was a child I went to like concert it doesn't count it was not at all like this experience and this was so special and yeah it just it was so much different and it was something that I've been dreaming about since I was I don't know maybe like 14 years old since I've started my fangirl era on Twitter <laughs> um, with Ariana Grande, I've been dreaming about it for so long and this finally happened which is still unbelievable to me I still feel like that meet and greet photo with me and Madison is photoshopped because I still can't believe that I even met her but I did and that is how it went so as you know already from the video I arrived at Tolbert the arena where Madison was performing at 12 20 and the VIP check and started at 4 30 so it was four hours in advance it was actually a good idea queuing is so fun I met so many incredible people that I feel like we would be the best friends if we lived in the same place um, they were all so sweet I got some gift um, this bag this bag is from my friend Nada shout out to Nada and she also brought me a candy and these are my French bracelets that I got I'm not sure which ones are from who but I definitely know that this one is from Nada <laughs> and I had these two on my meet and greet picture which it says silence between songs and nothing matters but you these are so special to me. I am saving all these for the next concert, obviously. My first friendship bracelets, I didn't make them, but still got some. So we've been having fun in the queue. We've been talking a lot. We went to shop. We exchanged bracelets. Yeah, just been sharing thoughts and emotions and so on. I'm not gonna stop on that for too much. I'm just gonna tell you what happened next. So at 4.30, some people came out of the arena and they started giving us all the lemonades. That is how they look. I think I need to mirror that. Mirror. Yeah, I hope you can see that uh, good enough. This is the lemonade. Um, we had two VIP tickets, like packages. One was Kin of Everything, which I got. Kin of Everything package. That one included meet and greet and this gift. And uh, the other package was in Vivi Leaves. They were just let in early and had a QA and sound check. I also had QA and sound check, obviously. But in Vivi Leaves did not have a gift and they did not have the opportunity to meet medicine, which I did. Um, and these lemonades were given to both of us. But first to the king of everything. And then we were let in. And we started to wait for Madison. This was unbelievable, incredible because we could hear her singing and this all was just so real. I don't know how I didn't cry when I went into the place where Madison took photos. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna cry right now. Actually for like three days, I don't know, I think like three days after the, after the show that I would remember Madison and how it all went i would start crying my eyes were so swollen all the time i could not stop crying i did not even like wear mascara i just i cried all the time because i was so emotional after anyways we went to that little like room 
kind of thing we were not allowed our phones so that's it and we were in a queue to meet medicine there were 30 people that were meeting medicine every show we were all waiting in the line and i could hear some people talking to medicine there was also loud music playing so you couldn't really hear anything but you could hear something and when i went to like the table there was a table i could put my clothes on it um my phone they made sure that i did not have my phone with me and i went in to see medicine once again this is our picture i think it turned out so cute i am so happy for the way that it turned out anyways when i went in like the lady took me in this room she was like okay just wait wait and uh, the last person was finishing the medicine so the girl went out and i went in i was still like trying to fix my hair because my, my hair was so messed up because i had it under a scarf it was so messed up i was trying to fix my hair still like that like going in and then i see medicine oh my goodness i literally don't know how i didn't cry i think i was such in sh shock Apparently there is a word in English, starstruck, and it definitely was starstruck because she is unbelievable. She is literally a goddess. She is so beautiful. There is no way to just describe her beauty. She is much more beautiful in person. And she was incredibly sweet. The first thing, thing that she said to me was just, hi, how are you? And then I went in and we hugged and that was just so sweet she was like i don't i don't have a words to explain it like you have to feel it i guess um i also feel like my meeting grade actually was quite long even though i did feel like meeting grades were a little bit rushed because we were late but you definitely have to keep talking when you're in your meeting grade because if you don't talk they will just take a photo and kick you out but I kept talking and I told her everything that I wanted. I told her how it was her fun from 2017 and she said it's so nice to finally meet you and I told her that my mom was there as well and she was like oh is she there? Is she in line? But no, my mom had a city ticket not me angry but yeah um, I told her about my gift for her. I told her how she commented under my TikTok comment so she replied to my comment on TikTok about her birthday that it will be her birthday best birthday ever and she said oh yeah really like i'm so excited for the show and just me too happy birthday and you know etc she was incredibly cute sweet and so down to earth and so sincere and genuine she was just a very nice person and that time was just everything that i ever wanted it was so perfect also, for anyone wondering how she looks um, and just the way she is, she is actually so small. I expected her, because I'm tiny, I'm 150 centimeters, I expected her to be much higher than me. But she, she was actually not, you can see it on the picture, she's actually not that high and she's very, very slim. And her hands are slim, her face is slim, oh, she's so cute. Also, the whole meet and greet, she was touching my hair. My hair was like that, because I was trying to make it good looking for the picture. And the second I went in, she was like, sorry. She was like, oh my god, your hair is so beautiful. Let me fix it. And she started like touching my hair like that, and I was like, I did not know what to say. She started asking me about my hair. She was like, how long did it take you to grow it? Do you not cut it? I was like, what am I going to say? I was not ready for these questions from anyone there at all. What should I say? I'm like, um, like four years. I don't know. I don't even remember that I cut my hair like two years ago. I did not remember it. I was not expecting her to actually be touching and complimenting my hair like that. And she kept touching it, she kept like trying to fix it because as I said, as I said my hair was a mess, but she liked it. And she also said I don't believe in cutting my hair. <laughs> she lied to me when I said that I cut it like four years ago, which was a lie. Sorry, medicine. But yeah. 
and then I took a photo. I think this photo turned out super cute. Actually, the second that I saw it on this next day, you get an email and you can uh, you have a password that you have to put in to see your photo. Uh, I literally started crying so badly. I love, I love this photo so much. As of now, I'm actually indecisive about this picture. <laughs> you can blame me really because I know it's it's literally perfect, but I'm thinking, oh, why did not you like hug me closer or something like that? Um, but I'm super happy because we only had, you know, one opportunity to take this photo and it turned out so cute. Also, I recolored it. I used Red FM. It's not sponsored. It's just what everyone uses. So here's the recolored version. You can see. Yeah. And then I stupid me asked her if we could take a photo with my friend, but she said not. But she said, but the camera lady she said we couldn't because my friend was further in the queue. So I'm so stupid. We should have ruined my meeting greet. But yeah, I didn't know how that worked, honestly. And Madison was so sorry. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. If I could, I would. But anyways, we hugged again and I went out. And that's how it was. And then I got my meet and greet gift. Here's this. This little hair clip bow. I still have it in a package, you know. I don't want to mess it up. It has this clip. So it's just a hair clip super cute it's actually a very good quality too i can take it out and yeah, because those are medicine coated even wearing a bow right now yeah so this is the bow very cute it's very weighty which is nice it's not like a cheap bow really and I also got this Polaroid signed by Madison on the day of shows. Also, mirror this. Yeah, so it's um um not super happy about it because I actually wanted another one, but we didn't get to choose once again. I know this is like so stupid to not be happy about something, but it's still cute. It's just not my favorite because she had different ones for every fan. Every person had a different one, so this was not my favorite, but also not my least favorite, so <laughs> still happy about it. And it's signed by the Han, she touched it, and <laughs> my prized possession. Yep, and that's basically it. And then I was guarded by security, escorted by security to the queue, to the arena. And I was looking to for an answer to this question, so I'm going to answer it for anybody who is also looking for this answer. To the meeting grid, you are guided to the arena queue. So there is a queue to the arena of VIP people. There is Kinabalu Lane queue, there is Ender Leaves queue, there is General Admission queue. And you are waiting for every Kinabalu Lane person to finish their meet and greet with Madison and join the queue. And after that, the doors were open and we were let in. It kind of matters what number you have, but also it kind of doesn't. Because I was bald and I literally ran to the center of the hall. And I got my place right at the barricade, well, had barricade, but I was right at the center, even though my number was 17. I still got a place in the center. I don't know how I did it, but I guess I got lucky and I was very courageous and just didn't care about anything. But also it was my first concert, so I think I deserved it. And yeah, I forgot to mention about the gifts for Madison. I had a gift for her. I cross-stitched some Rick and Morty keychains for her. I'm going to put them right here. Here they are. I know she loves Rick and Morty, so and also Homesick is my favorite song, and I'm so happy she sent it on tour. And that's why I decided to cross stitch them. Also, the crazy thing that ever happened on literally the next day, Madison posted these gifts on her Instagram story, and then they, she posted them again and again and again. And she posted my letter, and she posted them on Snapchat two days later. And I was like what the hell is happening she actually got them she unpacked them and i still can't believe that 
this happens as well but yeah uh, they have a table where you can put your gifts on and then they have given to medicine this is how it happens anyways we literally ran to the better cat <laughs> obviously you cannot run you are not allowed to but we were gonna do this so fast <laughs> We were in the better kid. Unfortunately, me and my friend got separated, but I mean, we still had fun. So, and we just sat down waiting for medicine. We were waiting for a QA. She came very soon. At the QA, we could not record, but it was very, very, very special. Medicine was so beautiful. She was talking about how she's Polish, how happy she is to celebrate her birthday, how she. At some point of her life, she did not even think that she would have a birthday, a 26th birthday at all. So she was very genuine and and vulnerable with us. So that was also very special. And she sang a song. And then we could sit down and talk and wait for the support artist, which I loved. We're going to talk about them for challenge. I love them. Jan is, he is incredible, his energy is just wow and Julian Rossi is also super nice and she, her voice is out of this world so love them and then finally we had medicine also I just happen to have this saved obviously this is my little, this is confetti that I saved <laughs> and my little um, wristbands that we got and Everybody got them. And also this uh, poster that we held during request. I uh, also we could just write whatever we wanted to. It was a fun project, so I have mine saved. Medicine was incredible and unbelievable, and I was crying the whole concert, even though there were so many fun songs. I was just crying all the time. Apparently, I am very much emotional. Yeah, and. After everything, Medicine got her birthday cake on stage. We sent happy birthday to her like three times. And yeah, that's it. After that, we went to the after party, which because Medicine had her birthday, we, uh, some fans, some Polish fans, decided to have a birthday party at a club. And I went there, but it was not. The party was not really partying. We were all so 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 tired and we <laughs> we did not party, we just danced for maybe 15 minutes and just went away. Some people were sleeping so uh, it was also 2 o'clock in the morning and I was supposed to check out of my hotel at 10 a.m. so I went home to my hotel and yeah that's it. That's how it ended. All in all I well, as I've been saying this whole time, I cannot believe that this has happened to me. This is incredible. I want to relive that moment again and again and again. I mean, it's so sad that I cannot. But at least I have the memory. <laughs> and Madison is the sweetest, most genuine person ever. I am so proud of her. I am so lucky to be her fan and to have met her. Which, of course, all of us deserve that. It's been so long since I wanted to do something like this and I finally could because my parents could never afford concerts, especially since um, I live in a country where no one comes to. We have to pay both for travel and hotels and, you know, food and the tickets, so many things to pay for and I finally could afford it by myself, which is so nice. Proud of myself as well. And this was one of the best nights of my life. Really, I this is my Roman Empire. This is something I remember about every day. Many times I still cry about this. It still doesn't feel like it was real and it still doesn't feel like it was more than two weeks ago. I feel like it was yesterday. And when I'm seeing other people go to meet and greets and concerts and I'm looking at them and I start crying because I just can't believe that I also got to experience this. I hope very much that one day I will be able to do this again.
but for now i'm so grateful i want to thank medicine i love you so much medicine i know she's never gonna see you but i hope she knows that i love her which she knows because i told her and she told me she loved me as well and yeah thank you medicine for one of the best nights of my life i love you so much happy belated birthday for the balance and also medicine thank you for that hug because it literally healed something inside of me that i never knew was there but it stitched me back to life and it saved me during one of my darkest moments of my life started to cry i think it's a sign we need to finish um yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions about anything at all then put them down below i will answer every question that i can see also if you have any video ideas for me to film also comment them down below because i never film things literally what a youtuber i am Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you will not miss any of my uploads, which there will be new ones. I know that have to be because I have some things filmed and I'm planning on uploading them, but just a little later. Yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.